Homelessness is a growing problem in New Zealand and the gap between the rich and the poor is ever increasing. Everywhere people are being forced out of their homes and onto the streets where they have to make a living out of that 10 cents you threw into that old torn Starbucks cup as you passed by. As a community we need to be helping the people on the streets with all we can, not just through those subconscious looks we throw at them as we rush through our busy lives. There are many different reasons why people are homeless. Yep. There are some who choose to be, only some, a few, uh, to the best of my knowledge. And then there's some who are forced out onto the street um, for various reasons, because every story or is a, and situation is different. So the homeless situation uh, is a problem, and unless the government has people who have been homeless who get onto panels and boards, nothing will be done to address it properly. I think it's the government's responsibility and I think they've got to do something about housing. I've seen homeless people around the city so it's been a problem for a long time. There's not so many since in the CBD since the um, shelter opened where the youth hostel used to be. In 2013, a study by the University of Waikato showed that there were over 40,000 homeless people living in New Zealand. In 2006, the number of homeless people was over 30,000, which just goes to show that the number of people that are affected directly by homelessness is increasing on the daily. Tauranga has many implications in place to care for the needs and well-beings of the people we call homeless. The Tauranga Moana Night Shelter Trust is a small building that is based a few metres out of the CBD. Unlike other shelters, they support their clients through every aspect of life. The purpose of our organisation is to provide a shelter and a safe environment where people can make the changes in their lives required to end the cycle of homelessness. Homelessness is a problem in New Zealand in terms of available housing that is warm and dry and affordable. Certainly if you see a homeless person on the street and you're able to uh, buy them a little bit of food or you're able to support the shelter by doing collection of non-perishable items. So a large portion of our staff are ex-homeless people and what that means is they understand the client group and they already have that relationship with them. Um, there's many reasons I decided to work with less fortunate people. Um, as a social worker, for me primarily it was about working with um, my own people, but I guess what it comes down to is finding out who the person is, what their story is, who they belong to, who their family are, um, you know, so it's actually looking at the stuff that makes them well, I guess, and looks after their wairua and makes them happy again. If you show them enough respect and enough kindness and if you build enough of a partnership with them, they certainly do start to get some hope back for a better future. By stabilising people through shelter, moving them into permanent housing and implementing assistance programmes to keep them in their houses, we can not only reduce but eliminate homelessness. In Auckland, a Housing First concept is being put into practice by the Auckland Council and community social housing providers on a two-year project that has a lofty goal of ending homelessness in Greater Auckland. Its aim is to help over 400 chronically homeless people find accommodation over a two-year time period. The regime focuses on the city centre, central, west and south Auckland and aims to get them into safe and secure accommodation and then provide services to address issues that have contributed to them ending up on the streets. If this project is deemed successful and a scheme like this one was carried out in other countries and cities worldwide, then humanity would have solved one of their many problems that has been needing attention for centuries, which would result in the end of homelessness.